name is Lauren Thomas. I am the co-founder and managing director of Mozambique's Limitada, a social venture in Mozambique. Well, I think what's important is that the bicycle has not yet transformed Mozambique. Um, we're talking about a country where people walk four to six hours to collect their daily water each day. Um, People live within 30 kilometers of health clinics, which means that they simply do not go, and thousands of people die each year from entirely treatable diseases like malaria. Um, people uh, do not want to walk 10 kilometers each day to reach schools, and so they don't go, and, and the country has over 50% illiteracy. Um, now, how can bicycles transform Mozambique, and you know, really getting into why we started Mozambique? Uh, we, we categorize the benefits of bicycles into really economic, social, and environmental. And economic benefits, people can carry product faster, further, and stronger. Uh, what does that mean? Mozambique is a country where 80% of people are in the informal agricultural sector. So what they bring to market, they sell, and that's what, that's what provides their daily income. So when they can travel faster, they can get to the markets quicker. Um, certain product particularly might spoil uh, by being carried for, for three hours under the hot sun. They can carry more products to market. The, the simple concept of bring more tomatoes to the market, sell more tomatoes. Um, and they can carry more, more quantity as, as well. Um, you know, not only uh, do does, does the um, economic side focus on the actual product, but on the inputs and on the markets when they can reach more fair markets to sell their product and uh, to reach better inputs, it also directly correlates to uh, increases in their daily income. On the social side, I already touched on providing access to clinics, access to schools, and then on the environmental side, a bicycle you know, is, is the exact clean energy uh, option that reduces the carbon emissions that we're seeing from these big buses, uh, the prevalent mini buses throughout Africa, and pulls people out of the dangerous situation that some of these uh, poor conditions of the mini buses can present. We have, we have two goals, and it, it really follows kind of the dual strategy of Mozambique. We want to be the premier provider of bicycles so that we can have people on better quality bikes rather than the bicycles which are brought in now. Uh, and this is really you know, one of the reasons why there aren't more bicycles in Mozambique, because traders have tried to bring in bicycles as cheaply as possible, and so they bring in the cheapest quality possible. However, with transport costs, that cheap bike is still too expensive for the people that really needed to change their life. And so the Mozambique's model adapts um, to, to be able to sell a higher quality bicycle for a lower cost by putting branding and advertising on the bike. So we want to be the premier provider of bicycles to bring in higher quality bicycles and have people that uh, achieve these benefits from bicycles able to sustain those benefits over a much longer time. And we also uh, want to be a premier form of advertising into rural markets. It's traditionally extremely difficult to advertise into rural markets where people don't read newspapers, they don't have magazines, they don't watch television, and yet they are in aggregate uh, prime consumers of rice, uh, other consumer products, mobile credit, Coca-Cola and beer, and, and yet, you know, how, how can you reach them? So, you know, our goal is also to be the the number one form of advertising into rural markets given the effectiveness uh, of the bicycle cycling through these communities for years. The Women's Forum and, and particularly the, the Cartier Women's Business Initiative which, which uh, brought me to the Women's Forum has been tremendous in, in press and media. This is media that really um, you know has brought an international focus to our business, which started in a, in a very, you know, uh, southern part of Africa. You know, it's kind of, it's the dark continent, and Mozambique is even at the most southern tip. And so, to be, to have our mission brought to the spotlight of, you know, an event that really has people in, in the forefront of their sectors throughout Europe, throughout the U.S., throughout Asia, um, has brought a level of attention to our business 
which has given back in terms uh, of the donations that we're receiving, the advertising sales that have been brought in, and the support uh, at the local level when we show them the different media that's, that's mm. being conducted on Mozambique.